Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Lightweight Installer for Pokemon Infinite Fusion. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and join the Discord for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, then go to the Downloads channel. Then you want to go to this post by myself for the game download links and click on the Lightweight Installer, which will just actually take you to the zip file here. Click on the zip file, click on Continue to Download, and it'll show up in your Downloads folder here on your browser, and go ahead and click Show in Folder. Don't click on this because it'll try to open the zip. Don't do that. Click show in folder and it'll open up your downloads folder with the zip file that you just downloaded. Make sure to right click this and hit extract all and extract. If you don't, for whatever reason, when you right click, don't have the option to extract all, go to WinRAR and hit extract to infinite fusion. If you have seven zip, the same option will appear. Hit the extract to infinite fusion and it'll create a folder for you named Infinite Fusion. So those things that I just mentioned will all result in you extracting the zip folder with the zipper and creating a new folder named Infinite Fusion with just a folder with no zipper. Double click on this one with no zipper, double click on it. You should have an Infinite Fusion folder in here. Then you will have these two items. Go ahead and double click on Installer Update and it's going to open up this black window, which is perfectly fine. And it's connecting to our game repo and then downloading the files into this folder here. So if it works, you will see more files in this folder to be able to start playing the game with. If you just see these two files and nothing else, that means that the installation did not work. But let me open this window back up and you will see this. There we go. It'll always tell you, thank you for installing, even if it fails. But if you see all of these files, that means you're perfectly good. So once it says this is good, go ahead and press enter and it'll close and you'll see all of these files. To open up the game, go ahead and just click on this one, game.exe, or it might just be named game for you. If you do not see the .exe portion, what you can do is go to this view button here, go down on show and go ahead and select file name extensions, and that's what allows you to see .exe here at the end. But go ahead and double click on this and the game will open right up. If you want to know where to put your save files, I'm just going to click on this to close it. If you want to see where your save files are, go ahead and double click on save file here and it'll take you to your folder where your save files are. Your save files are going to be named something like this. Ignore all of these folders because that's just something that I created because I'm the tech manager and I tested a bunch of save files, so don't worry about these but you will most likely just see save file A if you have an existing save file. There's not going to be anything in there at all if you've never played the game. If you need to update the game in the future, it is the exact same steps. Just double click on installer update and this will actually update your game to the latest version as well. So this is going to be used both to install and to update. So it is a very good tool and easy tool to use. And if you have any questions or any errors, go ahead and go to tech support here and we'll go ahead and make sure to get any of your issues resolved.